Trump haters have become sycophants. Let's start off with Bangladesh's interim government head, Mohammad Yunus. You see, to survive, he has become shamelessly sycophantic towards Donald Trump. Well, that's because he knows that the Biden-Clinton game that actually brought him to power is now over. The earthquake is in Washington, but it's Dhaka that is now trembling. Here's what we mean by that. The chief advisor to Bangladesh's interim government extended his wishes to the U.S. president-elect on his election victory in a letter to Donald Trump. Eunice said, and I'm quoting here, I'm delighted to convey on behalf of the government and the people of Bangladesh my heartfelt felicitations to you on your victory in the U.S. presidential election 2024. Excellency, aligning with our commitment to a peaceful and inclusive society, the government and the peace-loving people of Bangladesh look forward to partner and collaborate in your efforts in addressing the global challenges in the pursuit of peace, harmony, stability and prosperity for all, quote-unquote. Sounds great. Sounds positive, right? Buff. If it was us reading the tea leaves, we would say that Yunus is rattled. He's worried. You see, his message to Donald Trump is being seen as an indirect response to Trump's recent remarks condemning the rampant attacks on Hindus in Bangladesh. Remember, Trump in his Diwali message condemned the quote-unquote barbaric violence against Hindus and other minority groups in Bangladesh. Trump had said, and I'm quoting here, it would never have happened on my watch. In fact, the president-elect added back then that the message had come hours before the U.S. election. This message from Trump was an embarrassment for Bangladesh's caretaker government. Despite multiple reports, Dhaka had underplayed the rampant attacks against Hindus and Hindu places of worship in Bangladesh. And now, here was a presidential hopeful promising to take action against this. Trump's comment surely came as an embarrassment for Eunice, to say the least, who has been perceived to be close to Washington because of his personal equation with Bill and Hillary Clinton. And so, as a result of Trump's comment, a large section of the Bangladeshi media came up with a rebuttal. In fact, they slammed Trump for his comment. They accused Trump of profound lack of understanding of global politics. None of them took into account the fact that it's the American people's decision at the end of the day. And today, they've made their choice. And Trump, even with his alleged lack of understanding of global politics, will become the new president of the United States. The tables have turned. And this was not lost on the Bangladeshi media as well. After Trump's election victory, Bangladeshi media, in fact, has been replete with editorials suggesting how Yunus now, now must build bridges. Is that what Yunus is actually doing with his congratulatory letter addressed to Donald Trump? You know, cozy up to the next president of America. And if he is doing that, it will be a difficult task. You see, Eunice and Trump have a history of strained ties, so much so that it even became a topic of discussion on social media. The bitterness reportedly began when Eunice allegedly made a huge donation to the Clinton Foundation before Hillary Clinton threw her hat in the ring for US presidency. But reportedly, the animosity is not one-sided. Trump has made his displeasure with Eunice very apparent. According to The Telegraph, in an incident that reportedly took place eight years ago, Trump referred to Eunice as the microfinance guy from Dhaka, who has donated to see me lose, quote unquote. Just for context here, Eunice was then heading the Microfinance Institute Grameen Bank. Before that, in 2016, after Trump defeated Hillary Clinton in the U.S. election, Eunice had said that Trump's victory had shattered him so much that he could barely speak or move. In fact, he had called Trump's victory a solar eclipse. He had called Trump's term as, quote-unquote, black days. Will these past instances now catch up to Eunice under Trump 2.0? That's the question we are asking. It's hard to tell, 
But one thing is for certain. Trump's shock comeback will give the UNIF administration in Bangladesh a lot to worry about. As per reports, there's already talk of discontent coming out of Dhaka over the US election outcome. Reports saying that senior leaders of Bangladesh's, Bangladesh's Awami League see Trump's victory as good news. That's because of the perception that the Joe Biden administration played a part in the regime change, reportedly, that took place in Bangladesh this past summer. Remember, Awami League, headed by Sheikh Hasina, ruled Bangladesh for 15 years till it was thrown out by protesters in August. There have been reports that suggested that Yunus regime has had the backing of Biden administration. Naturally, Yunus will have a lot to worry about now with Trump back in power. It is evident in the fact that Yunus wasted no time at all in reaching out to Trump with that congratulatory message we just read out. So quick to forget the solar eclipse comment, it seems. But will this pandering sycophancy actually help Yunus or will it backfire? Only time will tell.